Okay guys, let's talk about these Billet Half Moon Valve Cover Seals. I think there's a huge misconception about when and where you should use these. Most people think that these Billet Half Moon Seals should only be used for high performance applications, but I think that's bullshit. I think these Half Moon Seals should be used for long term reliability also. And I think you should actually toss these plastic ones and never use these. These definitely aren't good for performance applications, but I'm going to say these plastic ones aren't good for long term reliability either. In this video, I'm going to make the argument that these Billet Half Moon Seals are better for performance applications and they're way better than these plastic ones for long term reliability. This is my little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, diving right into these Half Moon Seals that I got from IEG. Incidentally guys, these cost about $50. And I actually got these off Amazon and I'll put these in my Amazon store and I'll include a link to these in the description below. But that's what these look like. These are the Billet Half Moon Seals. I'll kind of give you guys a little overview of what they look like. And these replace those plastic ones that Subaru used from the factory. And I think most people think that you should only really think about using these Billet Half Moon Seals if you're doing a performance build or if you're gonna use your car for some high performance track application. But I'm gonna tell you guys, I think not only do these work better at high performance applications, but they're actually gonna be a lot better for long-term reliability, even in a completely stock non-performance car. And the reason for that is because these are made of aluminum. You see these stock ones are actually made of some polymer plastic, and that plastic doesn't have the same thermal expansion properties that aluminum does. And that's the exact reason that the aftermarket industry actually designed and actually started fabricating these in the first place, is that they recognize is that when their cars got hot, especially with high performance use and their engines got really hot, these valve cover seals would often actually fail because they weren't expanding as much as the aluminum around them. So the guys in the aftermarket industry, and I believe Lick Motorsports here in Northern California is one of the first guys to actually start producing these. At least that's one of the first guys that I saw produce these. They actually recognized that if you actually could make these out of aluminum, these little wedges would actually expand the same amount that the valve covers and the heads would expand because they're also made of aluminum, which means that everything's gonna be expanding and contracting at about the same amount. So this is a great solution to having those different thermal expansion properties that using a plastic actually introduces to the system. You see, these plastic wedges aren't gonna expand near as much as this aluminum wedge, which is one of the main reasons you develop oil leak from your valve cover seals. And the solution from the factory is actually just add a little bit of RTV on the top of these little wedges and that will actually help seal them to the valve cover seals. But I'm telling you guys, over the years I've seen so many people with valve cover leaks. And I think what happens is that actually over time, over tens of thousands of miles or even over hundreds of thousands of miles, these little plastic wedges actually slowly shrink over time. I think the best way to describe it is actually kind of a molecular settling that happens because every time you heat up this material, it actually allows all the molecules in this material to slightly reconfigure. And I think over time, that's actually what happens to these little wedges. So they're over tens of thousands of miles or hundreds of thousands of miles and just so many heating and cooling cycles these little wedges slowly deform and actually shrink over time. And eventually they're gonna end up causing leak, even a stock non-performance engine. So that's why I think over time, these little wedges are actually a terrible, terrible thing to use in your Subaru. And that's exactly why I think these billet wedges like this are actually a better idea for any Subaru, even if you have a Subaru that's a non-performance application and you just want a reliable daily driver that's not gonna have any valve cover leaks for tens of thousands of miles or hundreds of thousands of miles. And that's why I think you should definitely think about getting these billet aluminum valve cover wedges instead of getting those plastic ones. And I think that's what the misconception is. I think people think that these should only be used for high performance applications. And I'm saying that's bullshit. I think these should be used for OEM long-term daily driver builds as well as high performance applications. Thanks again for watching this video guys. As you guys know, I'm a diehard Subaru enthusiast. And I've also had the opportunity to be involved in motorsports for over two decades now. But I'm also a professional hydrogeologist. And I've actually spent years in laboratories performing experiments where I studied the flow of fluids using the properties of physics and fluid mechanics. In these YouTube videos, I'm actually able to combine my experience from the laboratories and all the research I've done with my experience from all the motorsport series I've been involved in and my passion for Subarus. If you have any professional inquiries about Subaru related R&D or digital marketing and media, you can contact me at SubaruOnlyShop at gmail.com.
Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to hear from you soon.